the Velvet Room. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Persona 4 Golden. Now, I've wanted to do a Let's Play for a good while now, and I've been kind of struggling with what game I wanted to do. I decided that I would do Persona 4 Golden specifically because I've not beaten Golden. I have beaten the base game for the PlayStation 2. And I've gotten Teresa's Palace in Persona 4 Golden. But I've never beaten Persona 4 Golden. Golden. And to be completely honest, I am quite excited to get the opportunity to kind of share my experience with it. We're going to be using the name Chadston Chad for our main character. Of course, the main character's actual name is Yu Narukami, or I believe Sato Soya, or something like that. Either way, Chad Chadston is what we're going to name our main character. And I'm going to be a little bit quiet in this first part, because there's going to be a lot of dialogue going on, but... I wanted to get out specifically this game because, well... Persona is very close to my heart, and this game is no exception. Probably one of the best JRPGs to date. Let's just get right into it. Yes, our name is Chad Chadston. As we will be getting all of the bitches. Hmm, I see. <clears throat> now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? <laughs> Do you believe in fortune telling? Yeah, Igor, I'll be honest, I kinda do. Um... Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. As much as fortune can be wildly interpreted, there is something to it. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Right. Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Oh no. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon. The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery very interesting indeed you're telling me this is a mystery game like scooby-doo it seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination and a great mystery will be imposed upon you in the coming days you will enter into a contract of some sort after which, you will return here. I've actually tricked you, yes. This is a Scooby-Doo game. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I know the title says P4G, but it's not. It's actually Scooby-Doo. It's true. My 
my duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. Hello, Margaret. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. Pleased to meet you. Until then, farewell. Adios, Igor. First he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already. But at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect. Finally, we're here. In a bus station. Hey, huh? over here. What's up? Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Are you my dad? Let's see. I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. You're my dad? It's been a long time. I'll say. You've really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> you are adorable. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> Get roasted, Dojima. <laughs> well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Hey. You drop this. What 
whatever. All I did was pick it up. Thank you kindly, cute girl. I appreciate it. Don't want that address getting into the wrong hands. That was a lie, actually. I, I dropped it there on purpose so she would come to the address later. I'm trying to pick up girls, but it's not working out. Oh well. Let's go to the Moel. Inaba Central Shopping District Gas Station. Hi, welcome to Moel. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh huh. It's in the back to your left. You know which way's left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. Unless you're left-handed. I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. You're already smoking, Dojima. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Yeah, that sounds like a Persona game. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Really? Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll not shake your hand as well. Oh, I should get back to work. Ooh, ouchie. Are you Headache. okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you do feel a little dizzy. What's wrong? You okay? I'm just felt lightheaded. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. All right. We get to check out the district here real quick. The blue butterfly will save for us. Hey look, it's that cute girl. Have we met somewhere? I met you just now. Just now. Hmm, okay. Well. What's up, man? Hmm, you have something to do in this shopping district? It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day, but we only see regulars nowadays. If only Junaz hadn't come into town. It's convenient, but it's a little sad. Hey, do you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Well, I'm going to work. See ya. What? I was really looking forward to eating it. Yeah, best leave them alone. I like this shop. It's very nice. It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. Well, we kind of checked everything out here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Is 
So this is the place, huh? For the next year, this place will be your home. Well, let's go in. All right, let's have a toast. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. I'll do just that. Good. Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Aw. Well. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. Well, Nanako, at least you still have me. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. I suppose we can do that. What does your dad do? He investigates stuff. Like crime scenes. I see. My dad's a detective. Very cool. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary, Taro Namatame, is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. Yeah, Nanako, the news usually is. Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Adorable, Nanako. Simply adorable. Are you going to eat? So. This is the Dojima household. Here you can see we have what looks to be either Settlers of Catan or a box of Cheez-Its on the table. Either way, it's very nice. Got the TV over here with Nanako. Watching a quiz show. Some fried rice in the fridge. Yeah, let's eat it. It has no taste at all. Strange. So, at various points, we'll be able to make lunch here, and you'll be seeing me do that as often as I can. Although sometimes I might not be able to, or I might forget. Our room is up here. And we'll be spending quite a bit of time in here. This is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. As you can see, we got boxes everywhere still. 
We got a TV. Got a nice little desk here. And we got the bed right over here. You'll be living in this town for one year starting today. You wonder if everything will be alright. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. What's going on? Chad, I don't think we're in Inaba anymore. The area is covered in a thick fog. All you can do right now is proceed forward. Well, forward we go. You're going to notice the controls are a bit awkward, but that's just because I'm on PC. It works much better with analog, but I don't have a good enough controller, so too bad, so sad. This will work for now. Do you seek the truth? Well, I mean, yeah, truth is better than lies. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. Well, alright. What is this? Yeah, nothing else to do. Nothing to do but push onward. So, you are the one pursuing me. Hmm. Try all you like. So, we have a couple of skills. We can use our basic attack. Or we can guard. Let's just try a basic attack right now. Hmm. It seems that you can see a little despite the fog. Let's try one of our skills. F to show what's going on here. So Raku Raku Kaja increases one ally's defense for three turns. Cleave is physical damage. And Zeo is electric damage. Of course, magic spells use SP, and physical spells use HP. So that's something to keep in mind while you play the game. I see. Indeed, that is very interesting information. Give him a try with just about everything we got. But, you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. It's completely gone. Everyone sees what they want to. And the fog only deepens. Will we meet again? At a place other than here? Hmm. I look forward to it. Ready. Ooh, not a go. Good morning. Aren't you adorable? Getting breakfast ready for us. Okay, let's eat.
There was some kind of trouble. You won't be back. Well, that sounds about right. Detectives are very busy. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. All right. School zone, Samegawa floodplain. You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye. Have a good day, Nanako. Sayonara. School zone, intersection in front of the school. Oh, who's this joker? Biking student, pain student. Yeah, I don't associate with uh, people that can't ride bikes. You've arrived at the main gates of Yasogami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? Well, I guess that's the question, isn't it? Talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. Yosuke, huh? What's with him? Who knows? All right, shut your traps. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. Don't you look delightful. First things first, just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are gonna be pure as the driven snow. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. Fuck off, Moro. Okay, you calling me a loser? Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. Now, what listen, a bastard. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Oh, boy. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. What a joyous teacher to have. I cannot wait for this year to be spent with this man. He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. 
Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. My life at this new school has begun. Will I be able to fit in here? Who knows? Probably. I am Chad Chadston after all. Slayer of pussy everywhere. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. <laughs> Attention all teachers, please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. You're a bastard, Maroka. You're a rat bastard. I'm seriously getting on my nerves. Oh shit, it's the popo. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh huh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Foggy, huh? Are you Just serious? like my dream. Hey, hey Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights? Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Aw. Uh. That's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat, Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. What kind of incident? I'm intrigued. I'm interested. I would like to see. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Yes, green girl. Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satanaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Chie Satanaka. Of course. Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, Yukiko nice to meet you. Amagi. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Ask away. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. Bleak looking student. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Ah! Critical hit to the nads. Ooh. 
I mean, we didn't see what happened, but the implication and the fact that he's still... That pains me, man. I'm sorry. Uh, are you alright? Oh, you could go, son. Are you worried about me? You know, I'm not as sorry anymore. You're, <laughs> you're already horny. He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. Yeah, just, just ignore him. He's trying to simp. I can't, I can't be having that. No simps. You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? Another simp. They're just coming out of the woodwork. Look at this. What? Who, who are you? Oh, look, it's What's a couple more. Him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san. Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. You know, you'd think that these guys would gossip from a little bit farther away. I bet you a can of Tappy gets knocked out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. Fine! <laughs> What did he want from me? What a loser. I don't know, Yukiko. You what should stick want? with me, uh, Chad Chadston. he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turn down another lovelorn fool, huh? Cycling student again. Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Well, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Ah, uh, you know, I mean, at least he's trying. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. All right, let's get out of here. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. I mean, it's pretty serious. It is... it is work. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. This scene looks a lot better on the PlayStation 2 because there is a little bit more fog um, just with the way that the game is stylized. I kind of wish that they kept the, since Persona 4 Gold in here, this is the remaster or whatever they ported to PC. It's kind of a shame that they didn't keep the fog because it did make this look a little bit better. The textures were a little bit hidden, uh, so... It kind of gave the appearance that it was just so far away. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! Chie and another character also had different voices in the original Persona 4, and I liked those more. But I'm kind of nitpicking at this point. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. Eh, it's kind of accurate. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? 
I think so, yeah. Oh, I knew it! Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kinda weird, huh? Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, Chie. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? Well, I think Chie just can't shut up more. This is the problem here. Ooh, spooky music. So that high schooler left school early. And as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. A dead body? Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Oh, look, it's Dojima. Hey, what are you doing here? Well, we're just passing by. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? Yeah, he's like my uncle. Dojima, his guardian. Uh... Well, well, how should I say this? He's my dad. I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Okay, Dad. <coughs> that is nasty, bro. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> Oh, go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Yeah, I don't think you should eat any more food today, bro. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. All righty. School seems like it's going to be interesting. So here we can take a look at the different areas that we can go to. We go to the central shopping district. This part will probably have less talking than any other parts. Less commentary is there's gonna be a lot of game stuff going on. You're a student at Yasagami. You should have gotten an order to go home from school today. Go on, go home. Well I gotta kinda check stuff out, you know. There's a bit of a ruckus, and there's a lot of police officers. What's going on? Huh? A crime? Really? Yay, an emergency. Now I don't have to go back to work. Well, that's... a bit morbid, but alright. I've been hearing sirens all day today. I was getting such great sleep, that they woke me up. Ugh. Didn't they tell you at school? They're supposed to head straight home. Still, where's the store's owner go? I can't leave here until I've talked to him. It's a little unbelievable to see so many policemen in this town. This has never happened before. Let's take a look at this. A 
nice little temple here. Alright, well, keep this in mind for later. Somebody should be walking, there he is. I heard that there was some kind of incident. I can't believe that could happen in a small town like ours. I'm so scared, I don't even want to be outside. You should get home quickly, too. Yes, that's right. I'm in front of the store owned by the parents. Yes, I understand. I'll get to it now. Huh? No, no. Like I explained already. Konishi Liquors, huh? So the Konishis must be important if a police guy is standing in front. Well, that seems to be all for the shopping district. We'll be exploring Junez later on. There's nothing we can do there right now, so there's no point in going. Same with Yasugami. Let's go to the floodplain. You must be a student of Yasugami High. You should head straight home for today. I keep hearing the police sirens today. I'm not used to all that noise. It's really unsettling. Let's see what's down these stairs. Ah, an old man. Isn't this river something? It's called the Samagawa, and it has tons of fish. It's a wonderful, beautiful river. I keep seeing police cars zooming by today. Was there some kind of accident? You see shadows of fish beneath the water's surface. If you had a fishing rod, you may be able to fish here. Yeah, we'll see if we can go fishing later on. I don't... It's not a priority, but we might be able to. That's all there is here right now. Let's go to the Dojima residence. And it was terrible. I was doing some work on the farm and the police came around to question me. It's such a dangerous world these days. I can't even relax when I go out shopping. And I was going to buy some tiny soul tomato for di dinner tonight too. What now? Oh, that's no problem. Here, you can have some that I harvested from my garden. It's no big thing. Anyone can start a home garden as long as they have some unused land to work with. You take that spot next to the Dojima place, for example. That's more than enough land to make a fine garden. Oh my, is that so? If they start a home garden too, does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? Haha. <laughs> no. We're not sharing shit. We will be using it though. Absolutely. It will become evening when you return home. Return home? Yeah. Why not? I do be home. With Nanako. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. Mayumi Yamano? Wasn't she? The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... <laughs> uh, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! <sighs> It'll be alright. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. 
That is a bit odd, isn't it? With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Seems that the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Yasugami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Her affair with the local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. That is odd, isn't it? <gasps> oh, it's Juness. Kinda reminds me of uh JoJo's, you know, when uh Keicho, Okiyasu's brother, is it's Gets red hot chili peppered. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. You memorized it already? I'm the best one in my class. Alright, if you guys didn't sing along, you need to go back and rewatch that and sing with me. That is a Japanese treasure of a song. Oh, look, the Cheez Its slash Settlers of Catan is still there. So is what appears to be a panda book. Or like a panda puzzle or something. There's some leaks in a box. And a little panda up there. Obviously the toaster for some reason is on the table. And I guess the hot water thing makes sense. Nothing in there for me. Uh, let's save. We'll save over this. Goodbye old save data. You're irrelevant now. And with that, I think that this is an excellent spot to kind of leave off. I know there wasn't a lot of commentary in this, and uh, I guess I'm sorry about that, but uh, these first couple of videos are probably going to be pretty long and pretty dialogue heavy. So... I guess you'll just have to deal with that, as that is a lot of what Persona is. A lot of dialogue, a lot of typical JRPG stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.